Welcome everyone. In order to access data on your iPhone, we first of all, if you have a Windows computer, you can head over to the iTunes website. By default, the website should look like this. And I want you to get from the Microsoft Store. But what I want you to do for the third party software to work is you will need to click on this Windows button here and then click on download iTunes for Windows Now download this version of iTunes and set this version up on your computer. We now need to download iMazing. This is the third party software which will let us read the app data. So we're going to click on the green download iMazing and you should have the iMazing download. Once the iMazing has downloaded, you will need to set it up. So we'll just agree and just accept any terms and conditions you see. On the Mac side, we just need to drag and drop iMazing to applications. On Windows, you may have to do something slightly different. So once iMazing has downloaded, we're going to go into the applications. Uh, we just need to open up the iMazing. If it asks, you know, is it safe? Just click on open and iMazing is perfectly fine to use. So let's close out of here. And you can see my iPhone is immediately recognized. If yours is not, you will need to connect your iPhone to your computer. And once you have connected your iPhone to the computer, just take it to the home screen. You may need to press some trust prompts on the phone itself. Once we have done that, we're going to click on where it says the apps and we can see all of our apps right here. Now we can access the app data for all of these applications. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, let's say we want the app data for, uh, let's see here, let's say for Minecraft. If we want the app data for Minecraft, we're just going to click on copy to Mac and we'll just choose a folder, let's say documents. And now it's going to see here, extract the application data. Okay. In order for the application data to be extracted, it needs to do a full device backup. So you can see the extracting apps is going to start, but we do need to trust the computer first. So we're going to trust the computer. And now it's going to start the extraction. I will show you how to read the app data in just a moment, but just keep in mind if your iPhone, let's say you have 200 gigabytes used, it will need to create a full 200 gigabyte backup in order for the app data to be extracted. So this may take a very long time depending on how much storage you have used. And just note that that storage will be on your Mac. So you will have to have, let's say, 200 gigs free if you have used up 200 gigs on your iPhone. So I'm going to cut to once this has finished. And now you can see that the app data has been extracted. So we'll click on the search to find where this is. And if we rename the .imazing app extension to .zip, and if you don't know how to rename file extensions on Windows, you will need to research that. We can double click the .zip, go into the Minecraft folder. And so you see here the container, this is where all your app data is located. And the payload folder just has information on the Apple game so that iMazing can restore the data if you want. If you want to restore the app data, you need to zip all of these folders and files. So we'll just zip this. And then just rename .zip to .imazing app like this. And then you drag and drop this to your iPhone and then it will restore the app data. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.